Welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to apply patches in Drupal using Composer. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's fire up the terminal. Let's get to our Drupal directory. Now, in order to install patch, we need a package, something called Composer CVGANS. Now, oh, let's go ahead and click this and click here installation. Now you can see here uh, we don't need the version because versions always depends upon the constraint. So let's just use or leave the composer to pick up the Record version based on our current Drupal installation. I'm using DDEV, so DDEV composer require CVGANS composer patcher. Uh, let's give gas. As so you can see here, the compatible version for our current Drupal is 1.7.3. Now, let's go ahead and look for some patches to apply. Let's uh, Search some core Drupal issues. Click on it. I'm using Drupal 10. So let's filter issues that is on Drupal 10. And I see a lot of it. So let's maybe search for something like views post form something and let's choose these are active this is postponed this one needs work so i'm assuming there is a working patch at least in an alpha level let's scroll all the way down yeah there's a patch here but it is for 8.0 x and we need something for 10 let's scroll all the way down 10 10 point x let's scroll for something that is showing us 10 point x 10 point x yeah as you can see here there's a 10 point 0 0.x but it is then and this is the latest patch i'm assuming yeah so this one works for php 8.1 and drupal 10.0.x version so let's choose this patch copy the url let's open up the composer.json file Now let's scroll all the way down and scroll to extras and below extras inside extras uh, there is installer paths after installer paths open the array now choose patches Open the array and this is Drupal patch and the patches for a core file or core module in this uh, to be uh, taken. Uh, if it is a contrib module, replace this core as the name of the contrib module. Now let's further open the array and uh, we will give message so as to for what we are using this patch what does it actually fix so this is something grouped exposed taxonomy filter validation fails 
So let's copy the actual message. Let's put in fix colon and let's copy the patch URL. Paste it here. Now, as you can see here, this is indicating something. Since patches is an array that we introduced in between, just use a comma over here. Now, let's save this. So, you have uh, made an entry in the composer.json. Now, in order for the patch to apply, but before that, let's check if our composer.json is valid. So, issue the command ddev composer validate. So, as you can see here, it will show log file is not up to date. This is because we have introduced a patch. So, after making changes in the patch array in the composer.json, you have to update the log file. This brings in the log file up to date as well as it will also install the patch. Now you can see here since we are applying on the core patch it is removing the actual Drupal core and then it is installing a fresh Drupal core and then you can see here applying patches for Drupal core and it is applied. If the patch is failed you would see a red warning over here and errors now everything looks green green means good so the patch has been successfully applied thanks for watching guys